me being able to balance life with IVF life. It's the move forward or not move forward. I need to show you guys something. <laughs> totally fine. Oh, it's so cute. So guys, they even have pillows. This is convincing me that there is something they're not telling me. Body. It is single here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super super duper well As you can see I just got out of the shower. I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling clean today is Sunday. Happy Sunday And this evening we're definitely gonna have a cozy Sunday in but one of my favorite fall activities to do is Go to our favorite local breweries and Portland, Maine has such an amazing array of breweries And since it's fall they of course all of them have their like pumpkin flavors their Oktoberfest flavors like it's such a vibe and it's not too cold I think we'll be able to like sit outside maybe near a heat lamp and enjoy a brew but don't worry I am aware and I have talked to my doctors nurses medical professionals about having alcohol in moderation a glass of wine a brew at a brewery if you are uncomfortable with doing those things obviously you do you boo but my clinic has totally given me the green light to enjoy a fall brew before we get too far into our transfer cycle the transfer cycle is longer than expected I feel. This is me being able to balance life, feel the balance of things that I love and things that I normally do in normal life with IVF life. And I'm really grateful to be able to find that balance. Speaking of finding that balance though, one of the things that I have found, oh, okay, we're just, she's, she's sitting here. One of the things that I have found that just really boosts my mood and just gets a little pip in my step is anytime that I'm excited to go do an activity, whether it's a fall hike or whether it's enjoying a brew at a brewery. Just any little thing or big thing that I'm excited about is putting together an outfit that makes me equally as excited to wear as I'm excited about the activity, if that makes sense. I would say 85 to 90% of the time, I am a leggings and oversized shirt or sweatshirt or sweater type of gal, but I do have my favorite pair of jeans that you guys have seen me wear. So I'm gonna try to put together an outfit here, but the main thing that I want to put this outfit together around is a new bag of mine actually. This company called Teddy Blake offered to send me one of their bags and oh my god, I can't wait to show you this bag. Y'all look at the color of this bag. I have been obsessed with this deep green color. You guys have probably seen on my Instagram. I've been rocking that deep green lately, especially for fall. And my car is a deep green color. I just can't escape it. It's so pretty to me. I had never heard of Teddy Blake bags, but to be fair, I am a very simple bag type of gal. I don't have shelves full of bags because I personally just can't be bothered with switching out everything all the time to like match my outfit. But why I loved this one specifically is the design is I think they call this a bucket bag but let me know let me know if that's not right but the color is so beautiful and the design itself seemed casual enough to go with any of the fall outfits or any other outfits that I like and I already have in my closet. And the color itself is so neutral that it just fits so well in the collection, the small collection that I already have. So let's put together an outfit. I think I have the perfect one in my head and I've laid out a couple pieces here, but I, it, you don't ever know what it's gonna look like. So let's, let's see if it comes together. <laughs> Y'all, I think we did something. And look at how freaking perfect. Oh, it's so cute. I've got my leather bloodstone boots on, which just manifies, fallifies, and casualizes an outfit while also making it very utilitarian. And then I've got this jacket with these tortoise buttons on it. It's almost like an in-between, between like a flannel, but it's corduroy. It's a heavier corduroy shirt and it's this cream color. And then this gorgeous green against the cream is everything. I also love learning that all of Teddy Blake's bags are sourced and made out of Italy, which adheres to their company history. So I thought that was super cool. I'm also not lying when I said I can't stop smelling 
smelling the bag. It smells so good. When I was first browsing, I definitely noticed that there were a lot of more posh options to go out for me at least. It would be to go out on a special occasion like an anniversary or like when I dress up a little bit more. But then I quickly noticed that they have bags that go with my casual style. It just elevates the look a little bit. And then the other thing I noticed about these bags is the price, especially for the luxury level and the quality of the bag. A lot of brands out there are upselling their bags like $2,000 just because of the name on the bag. So with the quality and the materials in mind, I was very surprised. So I will leave all of my outfit details, including the exact bag that I chose linked down below for you guys in case you guys want to treat yourselves. And they gave me a $30 off coupon code. It's TBMAC30. So I will leave that link down below as well. But without further ado, let's get on with our Sunday. Ron, what do you think of my outfit? Very cute. Yeah? Super yeah. cute? First order of business on this beautiful Sunday is Goodwill. Is all of this Goodwill? No. No, it's not. Okay. What is Goodwill? This pile right here. This? From the monitor to us, yeah. The monitor is going to Goodwill. Wow. Oh, and this also. We don't need this. A liner. Yeah. Don't love that anymore. <laughs> So we went inside to check out the furniture to see if they had um, like a small shelf or something like that because Jack actually cleaned out his closet Thanks. Goodwill. Yesterday, exactly. We cleared cleared out some stuff. I forgot to mention that. And he wants like a little shelf to go on the side of the closet to store the stuff that usually just is on the ground, like in the closet, like bags or boxes and like stuff like that. But no luck in there. So we're actually gonna head over to Target. I know, gosh, it's a struggle. Can't believe we have to go there. Oh, incredible. Hate it. They're already selling. You can get a two pack of these little decorative reindeer for like a dollar. A nice little moment of beard. That is cute, I'm not gonna lie. A little set for three doll hairs. I really like these too. I saw I saw Tara get these for her wedding next year. Put like red or green stuff out of the instead of like a vase. This these are feet. They're boots. Yeah. Winter boots. It's no, these Christmas. are these are mummy feet. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're mummy boots. You see? It's Halloween. They're <laughs> winter boots. You are thinking outside the box. Nice. Look at this Christmas countdown. That's cute. You guys, they even have like pillows out for Christmas. I love it. Me doesn't want summer to go away for fall, but Christmas can come anytime. Oh my gosh, it's a little fluffy tree. That would attract so much like dust and stuff. I still have some fall stuff out. Like I like this. That's very cute. This garland, hearth in hand cute. for the Christmas tree. I like that. That's very, very cute. They've got carts that are like mobile, which is kind of fun. Like that one. Yep. They also have a five tier wire shelf. How big is that? This is a five tier wide wire shelf. This one is wide. Guys, we're looking at this white kitchen set. Our current, my current favorite chopping knife is a Cuisinart. Is it not? Yes. It's a black. We've had it since Stanford, Connecticut. That's our like reference point for how long we've had things. But it's like a single knife, whereas this is a whole knife set. So nice. And our Cuisinart one has lasted us so long. We were just about to see like, oh look, scissors, but like you can't pull anything out. And I was like, wait, why can't you pull anything out? And then Jack made a very good point about knives in stores. <laughs> California The sun is always shining right People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same 
No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're crying All right, my friends, we are back. It is, what time is it, darling? Three something? 3.49. And we are exhausted. <laughs> We've had to get up quite early the past few days and it's definitely catching up to me, but it is regulating my sleep schedule. So sometimes you just gotta force it, you know? But I... <laughs> Need to show you guys something. We bought this linen sheet set from Target. I figured it out, it was a year and a half ago. I was looking through my old vlogs and the sheets appeared in a vlog a year and a half ago for the first time. We could not stop raving about them. And up until recently, I would still recommend them to like everyone I know. It's the Casa Luna sheets or whatever. But it's been a year and a half and I don't know if this is normal for a year and a half, but <laughs> look at what has happened to the sheets a year and a half later. A massive gaping hole in the sheet. At first, I would not think anything of it. At first, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, no, that makes sense. We've had them about like a year and a half. At that point, I thought it was like two years or so. And it is our only main sheets we have. I think we have one other set as an emergency set, but these are our favorite. So we literally wash them and then put them on the bed the same day that we wash them and dry them. So with these being basically the only sheets that we sleep on, I was like, a year and a half, like a hole to appear. Okay, fine. But then we started looking what? to read. There's a hole in there? What the hell? Now I know why you bought new sheets, Bob. You should have told me there so was a hole where anyway. I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we were about to repurchase the same sheets because we loved these ones so much just like maybe in a different color or something But it had me thinking about other sheets that I've heard about such as Brooke linen or parachute or something like that Something that'll last us a long time We knew we really liked the linen sheets and I went to look at the reviews of all of these sheets and the reviews on these Target sheets the Casa Luna Whatever it was Target sheets the one star reviews are all about the holes There are people who have only had them for eight months and they there is a hole forming in the sheets. So I'm like, kind of made me think that a hole appearing in your sheets might not be the most normal thing, you know, regardless maybe of how much time it is, but leave in the comments below if like a year and a half on these sheets, do you expect a hole like that to form? I don't know, but either way, just in case, I decided after hearing such great things, online about Brook Linen, I decided to give them a shot and I used a discount code. I think Honey found a discount code for me, but I know a lot of different podcasters that work with Brook Linen, so I would have used one of theirs if Honey didn't give me like the best price, you know? But what's cool about their site, this is in no way sponsored whatsoever, I just wanted to try them out, but what I found cool about their site is that they build the sheet set like for you and there's different tiers of sheet sets. So we ended up, since we used the crap out of our sheets, we went with the core sheet set and that comes with a flat sheet, a fitted sheet and two pillowcases. And then there's also like the basic sheet set that we almost went with. It had one fitted sheet and two pillowcases, so no flat sheets. So they kind of have different tiers of sheets depending on what you're looking for. And we were gonna get the linen ones because we found out how much we loved linen from these sheets, but first they're hella pricey. Linen sheets even at Target. These ones were definitely a splurge, but we ended up loving them and they sleep very cool. That was our favorite thing about them is like how cool they actually slept while also keeping you warm enough at night. They were so cool. They were so breathable. Then we were looking at this fabric of sheets. This is, what is this? It's a cotton sheet, but it's a P, it's Paracel, Par Paracel. I really don't know how to say it. I just, that's just like what's in my head. And I read about the material of that type of cotton. It was also breathable. And I'm feeling it right now and it's very crisp, which I personally like. I find that sheets that are really soft, I like really soft sheets, but sometimes they're super warm. So you never know. It does smell a little like it came out of their warehouse, you know? So I think I would like to wash them anyway. More washes equals more softness. So I'm going to follow their directions before, but I will keep you updated on the, on the sheet situation and let you know if I end up really enjoying these ones. Vlog, it is time. 
for what? For the trend, no chinning. Oh my god. For the ultrasound to check Max lining before the transfer. And if you haven't been watching, welcome back. No, if you haven't been watching guys, you should know that Max Lining has been exquisite. So kind of like not sweating this appointment right now. No, not really. <laughs> I'm totally fine. I'm so not. You are so funny. I'm not stressed. I'm trying to keep my stress levels minimum. Why are you stressed? You know what, that's probably why they actually offer, I was asking Jack last night, why they offer Valium to patients getting a embryo transfer on that day and not during an IUI. And then I told him, I was like, this is convincing me that there is something they're not telling me about a transfer. Like it's really intense and like the pain and whatever. And it's like, I'll, t I'll take Valium regardless because I'm just anxious. And then it clicked and I was like, it's probably stress levels. That makes sense. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask everyone I know in there about the Valium situation. Not that I don't want it again, like I'll take it regardless because <laughs> I don't want to feel stressed. But anyway, like Jack said, this is the check for the lining and everything. And based on all of my other cycles, all of the IUIs and both of the IVF retrieval rounds, my lining has been totally on track and totally fine mm -hmm. but it's just that I know that like this is the one where it's like yep and if everything looks good we can move forward there's that little inkling because it's not just like routine blood work and ultrasound it's just like it's the move forward or not move forward situation so here we are we're gonna move forward I haven't been here in so long yeah over a month this feels very strange into the beginning of the rest of your life Let's freaking go, bub. Love this you. clock is wrong, so we're actually we gotta we gotta get I know, I'm just procrastinating. I know, that's why you have me. Alright, we'll see you guys. What do you think? Guys, she <laughs> did it. I knew she could do it. You knew I could do I it. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was always gonna be a yes. They told me like right then and there. Yeah. Like a nurse is gonna call me just to confirm like to continue medications and then tell me to take my pio shot starting on probably Sunday. That's what my yeah. nurse told me yesterday, but this is it. The tag was so funny. She's I like, loved her. I don't yeah. think I've had She's her like, before. Oh yeah, you're lining. Great. Yeah, she's like, it's, like, it's literally an 8.5. Yeah, it literally hadn't been in like three seconds when, and, and she was already in there. And she's like, oh yeah, you're lining. She's great. like, oh, it's fake. I've never had her before, but I really liked her. Yeah, she's sweet. Oh, you've had her. No. Yeah. That's she was way too confident to be that girl. That's her. I didn't recognize her at all. I did, yeah, that's her. 100%. She literally has come so far <laughs> since yeah. training under. Yeah, She's Bubba. so good. She's awesome, isn't she? Oh my gosh, this is wild. It's exciting. Everybody in there was like so sweet. Like everyone knew why we were there. From the blood work person that I've gotten to know to, to the tech, like they were like, oh, it's exciting. Like, let's see what it looks like. You know, all this stuff. Like, I can't believe you're here, you know? And I was like, me neither. <laughs> we're good. We just have to wait for a phone call later. Oh yeah. I'm exhausted. Let's get some Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> let's go, let's get some Dunkin' Donuts.